I bought this monocular from the Amazon and I really don't know how much I spent for it but it is very cheap. So there are two reasons that I bought this thing. The first reason is I am getting uh, objective lens and the eyepiece. Uh, well eyepiece is uh, acrylic so this is plastic so I don't I can't use it for my main scope but I can use uh, these both to make uh, uh, spotter scope. But the main reason to buy this thing is it has a roof prism inside. So the using that roof prism I can use erect eyepiece for my uh, telescope so that I can see a non inverted image on my eyepiece. So few of the subscribers have issue that they are getting inverted image. So actually uh, there are two types of telescope. First is the astronomical telescope which is we use to make and second is a terrestrial telescope. Now the terrestrial telescope is pretty hard to do because it has three lenses in it. The first is objective lens then there is a middle lens and the eyepiece. So middle lens is act as a inverter uh, inverting the image. So uh, but uh, we can convert our astronomical telescope into terrestrial telescopes by using erect prism. So actually erect prism is uh, doing the middle lens job in this teles uh, in astronomical telescope. So I tried few times to make a terrestrial telescope but it is very hard to do because you need a proper focal length lenses uh, otherwise it is very difficult to make bit uh, success to make that telescope but the image was not uh, very clear and sharp so and we actually don't need to do such telescope because we can convert our uh, astronomical telescope into terrestrial telescope mm. by using erect prism but there is a one issue that when we use erect prism uh, it actually reduces your focal point now it is doesn't mean that uh, it is not like uh, focal reducer okay when you use focal reducer uh, you actually reduce uh, the focal point but also uh, there is a change in the degree of angle with the optical axis and sometimes what happens when you use the erect prism um, your focal point get reduced and it is uh, sometime it is out of focus for your focuser so you are trying to focus on the image but you are not getting the clear image because it is out of your focus. So let me explain what I means. So this is the optical axis and this is the objective lens and this is the uh, focal point. Now if I add positive lens like a focal reducer that lens will create its own focal point by bending light towards the optical axis and you will get the focal point and if you measure the op original focal point of your objective lens the angle between the bent light and the optical axis you will get a certain number of degree and we are assuming that this is the 20 degree and if you compare this 20 degree to the focal point which is generated by the uh, focal reducer or positive lens you will see the angle is uh, increased by 5 degrees so you will get 25 degree over uh, uh, focal reducer's focal point and similarly if you use the negative lens the lens will bend the light outwards and you will get a longer focal point and if you measure the angle of that focal point you will get uh, 15 degrees so the angle is reduced so this change in angle will give you the wide angle view or the telephoto view but in the case of prism it doesn't bend the light it reflects the light as per the reflecting surfaces it has so you will get the reduced focal point but if you check the angle of degree you won't get any change so you are getting the shortened focal point which caused by multiple reflection inside the prism
but this might be a problem for you because uh, now you have a shortened focal point and your uh, focuser might not be able to catch that focal point so there are two solutions for this problem the first is you can reduce your optical tube or second is you can use uh, long uh, focal point eyepiece like uh, 32 mm or 40 mm now let's see what happens in my case i will show the result at the end of the video and let's start making the erect prism okay so let's open it As I told you, this is the plastic lens. So this is the thing that I am looking for. Actually they glued this prism inside this socket or holder. So this is the first prism. And this is the second one. But uh, I'm uh, I might not able to. Okay. Oh yes, this is coming out.
All right. So this is the prism, and you need to add a seam on the outer diameter of the uh, prism, so that you can match the inner diameter of the eyepiece with the prism, so that you can fix it on the top of the eyepiece. So this is the simplest way that you can convert your any eyepiece to the erect prism eyepiece. And let's see uh, how it works on actual telescope. This is my new 75 mm telescope and this is not the alternate telescope because it doesn't have any eyepiece inside. Instead of eyepiece I mounted camera inside and this is the stepper motor for the electronic focuser. In the next video I will make a detailed video about this telescope and I will show you each and every details about this telescope so that you can make one for yourself. So please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can't miss my next video. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.